Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I actually had a quite an okay one. Um, my niece got here today. I'm really, really, really grateful for having her here. Uh, I'm so much looking forward to spend time with her. She's, she's just turned 15 and, um, you know, coming to her auntie is not like on top of her list. But Gemma, Gemma is a good, um, it's a good little, you know, um, what do you call it? Like, it, she's actually, you know, she's, that makes her prioritize to actually come. Her little cousin is worth, you know, and hanging out with oldies for a weekend. So I'm very, very grateful for it, for that. And uh, to see them together, like as, as soon as Gemma sees uh, Mila's face, she's so happy. She's like, uh, I, I feel um, that many, you know, kids love, you know, young adults, probably because they're so pretty. Huh? <laughs> so both of them are really happy. Um, going to a baptism today, um, of a little mom called Sophia. I'm looking forward to that. She's adorable. And... Um, uh, and we're very grateful, you know, that we start, you know, to, you know, hang out this way again. When we had the baptize, the baptism for Gemma, it was still COVID and very limited how many people you could be. Um, so I'm grateful that, you know, the world is opening up. Um, we were celebrating yesterday my, I would call him my bonus, bonus son. <laughs> But it's my, my boyfriend's bonus son. He was graduating um, from senior high. I heard this the kind of correct uh, um, term. Uh, and, um, and it was so wonderful. You know, I got reminded of when I quit 22 years ago. It was such a big day. Uh, and then we went to my best friend uh, for coffee and then uh, Mila was supposed to come, you know, later. But she, there was something really strange with the train. They had like rebooked her without noticing us. Fortunately, she didn't miss the train. But um, so she was like an hour early and we just had to rush away, <laughs> which was very strange. But um, in the end, everything went really well. <laughs> So she's here, she's with Gemma, and we're all good. Um, but you know, like the central station area is never really like a safe area during the night. So I would have wanted to be there on the track meeting her when she arrived. Um, but I wasn't and everything went well. <laughs> so that's good. Um, what else? Um, mm, 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 mm. It's, it's such a beautiful, beautiful nature right now. We're going to take the boat to the city because today it's Stockholm Marathon. Um, and I hate that, you know, it's like such a big thing, but it, it's like impossible to get around in the city. And where I used to live, um, it's like where the track starts, like that's where everyone starts running. And then it's around like... Fortunately, now we're a bit outside of the city, so we can take a ferry in because it's impossible to take a car. And I'm going to get my car this weekend. Woo -hoo -hoo. Um, so um, I hope to get it uh, tonight or tomorrow. The latest I'll get it on Monday. I am very excited about that. Um, I'm very excited about going, you know, with no roof and like feeling the spring. Um, yeah, let's do some yoga. Get down on your sitting bones and straighten your back up. Close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inward.
we're going to do the breath of fire. We do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine quick and hard. Inhale. Oh, very good job. It's great for these allergy noses. Uh, we're going to do the hip roll. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale. And we're gonna switch direction. We're also going to do a neck roll, so inhale back, exhale forward. Which direction? Penny! We're gonna do, um, we're gonna do the cat and cow. 
place your hands straight underneath your shoulder, place your knees straight underneath your hips on the inhalation, and come forward with your belly, look halfway up the ceiling. Exhale, come up. Inhale. Exhale. Need to check if she's running away. Continue with that cat and cow. She's still in place. <laughs> Good job. You know she's been running away so much lately. And my biggest fear is that she's going to be hit by a car. So I needed to check. Let's do the, the child's person that we're done for today with the asanas. Inhale, come up and come back to your tailor's position. We're going to finish with a short meditation. So get down on your sitting bones, straighten up your back, close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye that comes in. Let this eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area, you find an inner room where you're going to spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come. It's only you in this moment. Om Paramatmane Namaha Sri Padangela Thank you so much for today. Remember to go out there and give. 
I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow.